In this video, let's look at how to use the debug mode in Eclipse. One of the first things that you can do to kick off debug mode is put something called a breakpoint. So the first thing that you need to do in Eclipse uh, if you want to use a debug mode is to put something called a breakpoint. So breakpoint means the place where the code needs to stop when you are running a program. So let's say I want my code to stop here. All that I need to do is actually dub, right click on the line and say toggle breakpoint. So now it would insert a breakpoint there or I can actually double click on there. So you can either double click there and it would insert you a breakpoint or you can say toggle break breakpoint. So this is how you would insert a breakpoint. Uh, what happens is when I do a debug, the code would come to this line and stop. Let me also show the line numbers so I'm doing a right click and show line numbers if you see there's a breakpoint now next there's a small blue circle right next to line 10 this is called a breakpoint so inserting a breakpoint is very simple you just do a right click and toggle breakpoint or you can double click on it and a breakpoint would be inserted uh, the, the important thing about this breakpoint is whenever code gets to line 10 the execution stops if if you are in debug mode so let's now activate debug mode and see what happens the way you can run a program in debug mode is you do a right click and do a run as or actually debug as Java application so it's right click debug as Java application just do a right click debug as Java application and now Eclipse asks you to confirm a perspective switch uh, Eclipse thinks that it's better to do a debug in a debug perspective rather than the Java perspective which we were in earlier. So now Eclipse is asking me to switch to debug perspective and I think debug is the right perspective to be in when I'm doing a debug so I would go ahead and click yes. So now I've clicked yes you'd see that the entire uh, views which are appearing has completely changed. Now like if you see the code execution is stopping at this particular line so the code execution now stops at l line number 10 and now I can see what are the different variables which are present so if I just go ahead and highlight marks uh, in the variables you can see this view called variables if you don't see this view in your uh, by default what you can do is do a sh click show view and click variables or you can so it's windows show view variables if you don't see directly the same thing applies to all other views uh, if you go to a def, uh, de, uh, debug perspective then you should see all this stuff by default so uh, the way you can activate debug perspective if the eclipse didn't take you by default to there is this just go to the open perspective and you have a perspective called debug in here so this is how you would activate a debug perspective in debug perspective you should see the views variables breakpoints these are the two important things that are important in a debug perspective so what you can actually now look at is I can see the variable values so I can see all the variable there is one local variable in this particular thing called marks so you'd see that the variable marks is present in here even the arguments which is a parameter which is passed to this we didn't pass any arguments here so that is empty marks has values 1 2 and 3 so these are the important things the other thing is you can change the value for marks also so I can click change value and change the value of first mark from 1 to 123 if I want to I can change the value as well so this is allowed in your debug perspective in the debug perspective in between you can change what value is being used for that particular program now uh, we are at this particular point line 11 and the code is now invoking a method called print all marks what I want to do is actually go inside that method and also debug and go through that particular thing if you see the run menu there are a few options called resume terminate step into and step over the important options that we are looking at to now is step into and step over step into actually goes inside the function so if I press F5 at this particular line it would go inside print all marks and execute the code inside print all marks if I press F6 here it would that execute the entire uh, print all marks and it would go to the next line which is line number 11 so I, I'll try F5 here F5 is 
uh, step into so now I'm trying to do a step into you can either press F5 or you can go to run menu and click step into if you look at it right now the code goes inside the print all marks uh, method and you'd see that the variable tab changes to show the variables which are now active so the variables which are now active are marks which are, is the same array that we looked at earlier and count count is a new variable which is added in in here so now you'd see that count is zero if I want to change the value of count I can do that as we did earlier so I can say change with value and I can say 10 so that is allowed the other thing you can do is actually if you highlight I mean hover over the variable Eclipse would show you a small kind of a pop-up which shows you the values so if I want to look at the value of count I can do this as well so I can just hover over the count variable and it would show the value in the count we have changed it to 10 so it shows a value 10 now now if I press F5 again if you see the code goes inside the loop so from line number 15 the execution shifted to line number 17 and you would see that there is a new variable inside the variables because now the mark variable is active so you can see the value inside the mark variable which is 123 so that's basically the first value in the marks and you'd see all the variables and the marks in present in here so that's how you can see the variable values as part of the debug mode there is something called a watch window we'll look at what is watch window next so if you debug uh, if you right click a variable and go and say right click and say watch so I'm right clicking a variable and I'm saying watch I'm selecting watch from this particular thing and if you look at it now uh, expressions uh, view comes in here I can actually put expressions in so I can say mark star 5 and it would store the value of mark star 5 this is where you can add your own expression so in the variables view you can show, see only the views that only the variables that are present in here uh, if you want to try some uh, I mean if you want to use any utility function or if you want to use uh, expression then you can go to the watch window it's a called expressions and you can add new expressions in here so here I can do something like marks dot to string to string is a function so now it shows the value of marks dot to string so you can invoke a function on a particular object you can also pass the object as a function uh, object as a parameter to utility function you can do anything of that kind in the expressions part and this would give you the value and you can you will be able to easily find out if there is some problem with your code so this is called watch and all the watches appear in a view called expressions the way you would enable expressions if you don't see the view is go to show view and you would see a view called expressions you don't see here go to other and you'd be able to see the view expressions so what we have looked at until now is how you can debug a Java program if I press F5 now it would go back because I pressed F5 it's now actually trying to go into the print ln method like the way, place where we pressed F5 was here and the method which was being executed is println so if I pressed F5 there it goes into println method unfortunately uh, the code for println is not here so it actually doesn't show what is happening behind the screen what I would do is do a run and I say a resume it continues execution and continues it completes the execution of that particular program and in the console you would see the output so the uh, uh, next the option which we looked at is run resume resume helps to continue execution from where we are so if you have found out what bug you are looking for and you don't you're not interested in what happens in the rest of the program all that you need to do is do run resume and it would go through the rest of the program and execute it and finally show you the output if uh, one thing you need to remember is even after you do a resume if there is a breakpoint present it would st stop at that particular breakpoint so this is a uh, debug mode uh, this is how you use it in Eclipse play around with the debug mode because debug mode is a very very important feature in Eclipse and it is very useful when you are trying to solve 
uh, a bug. This video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in Eclipse, different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.